Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing part two of our bar snack pickled eggs and I have a two more recipes to show off. The first one is going to be our mustard pickled eggs and the second one will be a Cajun pickled egg. So for our first recipe, our mustard pickled eggs, we are going to need two cups of water, a half of a cup of white vinegar, a half of a cup of sugar, a half of a tablespoon of kosher salt, a half of a tablespoon of a mustard seeds. I'm using a mixture of yellow and brown mustard seeds, but all yellow or all brown work just as well. This just happens to be what I have on hand. We're also going to need one and a half tablespoons of a yellow mustard and one teaspoon of turmeric. This is not only going to add a little bit of flavor into our eggs, but it's also going to give them a lovely yellow color once they've pickled. And the last thing we need besides our eggs is half of a thinly sliced onion. Both of these recipes are going to do about 12 eggs. For our Cajun pickled eggs, we are going to need a half of a cup of water, one cup of white vinegar, a half of a cup of hot sauce. I'm using the Crystal's hot sauce. It's what I prefer. But your favorite hot sauce will work in this recipe. You're also going to need a half of a teaspoon of kosher salt, as well as three cloves of crushed garlic, a one thinly sliced jalapeno, and a half of a, a thinly sliced onion. And these are uh, a sweet Vidalia onion. So I've already gone ahead and prepared our brines in advance today, just to save me a little bit of time. But what you're going to want to do is for your mustard ingredients, you're going to want to combine them all in a pot except for the onion and the eggs. Bring it up to a boil and then allow it to simmer for five minutes. And then for the Cajun recipe, you're going to want to combine your water, your vinegar, and your salt and just warm it up enough till your salt dissolves and then set them both to the side and allow them to cool to where they're no longer extremely hot. You don't want to continue cooking your eggs. For my eggs, these have already been boiled and peeled, and the way I boil my eggs is I start them cold in a pot with cold water, bring them up to a boil, remove them from the heat, put a lid onto my pan, and set them to the side for 10 minutes and before putting them in cold water and that will give you a perfectly cooked, perfectly boiled egg. Alright guys, that is it. So now all we need to do is assemble. So let me get some of these ingredients out of my way and get my jars in place and we'll do that. So for our mustard eggs, I'm just going to start with some slices of onion right in the bottom. And then I'm going to start layering my eggs in. Make sure you have clean hands when you're doing this. And then I'm going to go ahead and start layering in a little bit more of my onion and topping it off with my eggs. So normally I would use a large to mouth mason jar for these, but unfortunately I'm out of them so I'm using a smaller mouth one. But any large glass jar or container will work as long as it's um, going to be big enough to keep your eggs totally submerged into your liquid. Even an old pickle jar would be fabulous for this. Alright guys, so all I need to do now is put the last of my onion in there. Alright guys, I think that one looks good. Let me grab my funnel and we will go ahead and pour our mu mustard mixture into our jar. It is such a beautiful yellow color. And these eggs are going to be absolutely delicious when they're done. So all I'm going to do is put my lid on and I am using a plastic lid. You want to avoid a metal lid if you can. 
That way the vinegar won't have a chance to eat through it and cause it to rust and contaminate your, your pickled eggs. So I do want to make sure that I have enough brine in there. Shaking it down just a little bit. I'm going to cover it with a little tiny bit more. And I think that is going to be good for this one. those beautiful those are going to be so pretty when they are done all right for our second jar we're going to be doing it the exact same way except we're going to start with one garlic clove part of our jalapeno and part of our onion and then I'm just going to start low layering my eggs in the exact same way I did the other jar and while I'm doing this I would like to remind you of the gamers and geeks playlist that JP Death and I have going on in our channels if you would like to be a part of that it's really easy all you have to do is go out and make a cooking video and then post it to your channel and once you've done that let either JP or I know in the comment section of our latest cooking videos or if you're a part of our discord servers you can let us know over there as well we go. Let's get the remainder of our eggs in there. Kind of shove them in there. Push them down up underneath of the lip and that will help hold them down. I'm going to put my last garlic clove in as well as the remainder of my jalapeno and as much of the onion as I can fit in there. Try and shove some of the jalapenos down the side so they get in there and really flavor our eggs. I think I can get them all in there. Nice. And then I'm just going to repeat the process with our brine. This time using our hot sauce brine. So when you're doing this one, make sure you allow enough time for the brine to seep down in around the eggs and the onion. Don't try and overfill it too fast or it'll spill all over your counter. And again, I'm going to put my lid on and give it a shake. Make sure that we get enough brine in there to cover our eggs. All right, guys, that one is full. So let me go ahead, wipe off my rim, put our lid on, give it a shake. Make sure it's okay. And it is perfect. All right, guys, there we go. Clean your jars off really well. All right, guys, our eggs are all assembled and ready to go into the refrigerator, where unfortunately they have to sit for 10 to 14 days before they're going to be ready. But once that happens, I'm going to be making some pickled deviled eggs out of these, as well as topping them on salads or just enjoying them as a simple snack in between meals. If you guys have enjoyed this recipe, leave me a comment down below. If you try this recipe out, let me know how it turns out for you. Remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist. I will leave a link down in the description to it, as well as a link to part one of our pickled egg videos. But for now, thank you so very much for joining me today. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next one.